Charlie Neff for Shoes TV, and I'm here at the home of Melissa Rivers, the new editor-in-chief of Shopperati. Hi, Melissa. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Wonderful. Tell me about this new site and how it differs from all the other shop sites. Well, Shopperati, it's our, it's our baby. Basically, my partner, Greg Alexander, was looking at his wife's Blackberry one day, and she had all these different sales and this and that. Greg had this idea, like, what if we aggregated all the best deals into one site? Genius. And so then we said, well, what if we take it a step further and give you the four top deals mm. of the day? So we aggregate and curate the best deals of the day for you. So how do you decide what deals to pick out for the site? We always try and sort of give every day a new variety, but there is there is a formula. I always want something that's a deep, deep deal. I want something that's on trend. I want an accessory or a shoe. And if we can find something that's a classic, I'll always put that in. But I like to have choices. I like that maybe you don't like the dress today, but you like the sunglasses, but tomorrow you might like the shoe. And shoes are one of our best selling items. And I find shoes that I like and that are wearable, or that are maybe just fun. It just depends on the shoe, and it depends what people are offering. And your mother, Joan Rivers, yep. is on the Fashion Police, so yep. it just runs in the family that you have amazing style sense. Well, and I'm the executive producer of Fashion Police, so, you know, I get a few hours a week where she has to supposedly listen to me. <laughs> I love it. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Yeah. How do you think uh, she has influenced you in your style? My mom is such a style icon, and she is always dressed. I really gravitate towards things that are not fussy because everything for her is so perfect and the accessories and the shoes and the da 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 da, da and she does it so naturally that I think sort of my weird way of interpreting that is to go into a much less fussy sort of look, pared down look for myself. I think I'm like a lot of moms that I kind of try and stick to a uniform and it's been a lot of that with the mommy bloggers going on. I'm like trying to get all these moms out of yoga pants. You know what I mean? Like get up in the morning and even just putting on a great pair of shoes can change your whole mood. And speaking of shoes, I love the yeah. ones you're wearing right yeah. now. Check these out, little Giuseppe. I love Action. the flowers. Aren't that they great? They're they gorgeous. Pretty. I love them. And they made them in high heels too, and I'd already bought the flat, and then I saw the heel, and I'm like, ugh, but I'm glad I got the flat. And I know you love shoes. Oh, do I love shoes. Tell I'm, me about your question. I am a shoe girl. Oh, God. And I'm, I'm really bad about getting rid of things, but the good news is I take very good care of my shoes, so they last forever. I find uh, Manila Blahnik and Jimmy Choo actually to be very, very comfortable, hmm. believe it or not. Um, most of them. Um, I love shoes. I think they're pretty. I just want to take them and hold them and pet them. I really do. <laughs> they're your pets. They are. They're kind of my pets. I have my child, my two dogs, and my shoes. I just want to look at my first six months. You know, look at them. And I always look at these women and they're walking down the street and they're in these huge high heels and I think, oh my God, how do you do that? Yeah. So I've gotten very into like the cute flats. Like this whole cute flat thing has been very good for me. But I'm short, so I always end up having to wear heels anyway. Mm. And tell me a little bit about, about your collection. What would I see in there? Oh, gosh. Um, well, you want to take a look? Yeah. You want to see my shoes? Yeah, I do. You want to see my shoes? Let's go check out the shoes. Okay. If your shoe collection could say something about you, what do you think it would say? Schizophrenic. <laughs> and why is that? Because I have everything from Laceless Converse to Javianas to Jimmy Choo to YSL to Gucci to Giuseppe Zanotti. I mean, I, I look in here and I can tell you different parts of my life. This was the first pair of wedges I ever bought. Wow. So they're very special to you. Yes, they are. And I just wore them for a shoot the other day. <laughs> I have boots in here that I wore when I was pregnant with my son, and he's 10. I'm very excited about these, but I can't wear them till fall. Oh, and I like the buckles. Too. Yeah, these are actually sort of a Jimmy Choo engineer boot, because I wear these to death. And these are Jimmy Choo, Jimmy which you Choo. said this is these one are, of your favorites. Yeah, these are my, YSL. Um, I thought these were cute. These are Steve Madden. Oh, these are adorable. I'm living in these this summer. These are my splurge flats this summer. Oh, wow. Look at those. Very the pretty. Louboutin action. Yeah. I wear them very carefully because I always feel like I'm going to ruin them. They're kind of my go-to work shoe. Oh, those are hot. Yeah, but this is what I'm talking about. Like, I have trouble being in these all day. And which ones are the hardest shoes to wear? Um, These ones aren't necessarily my hardest, but these are up there in the top five. Aren't they pretty? They're gorgeous, but they, they look like them. you've worn them a few times, yes. even though they're I've, hard. Because you know what? I like a challenge here. If you hold <laughs> this part of it. Okay. And you see, and you pull back here. Oh, I love that. And this goes around your ankle. Very crafty. But they're very 
difficult to wear. They don't like to stay on. There's not a lot holding you in. Yeah. So these these are these are a little complicated. And if you they're very slippery. Hmm. But see, as you can see, I like the challenge. Yes. Because you know they're pretty. And what kind of outfit would you wear these with? I have worn these with everything. I regret it later, <laughs> but dang, I still wear them because that was my mom says. Uh, glamour has no alarm clock. Fashion knows no pain. <laughs>